Okay, let's take a real fast recap of these clocks that we bought on Friday last week and uh, give you a little bit better look at them. Um, the really excite exciting ones are the Transition Woodworks and uh, the Pillar and Scrolls um, because the originality of them and the fact that they're all running. It was nice to get such a nice, clean collection of clocks. Welcome back to the clock shop. This is Jim with JR Clocker on eBay. Oh yeah, did you see what we got? All right, so... The feet are, the back feet and, and the one uh, fennel are, are off and the uh, splint, uh, the plinth for that fennel is off, but we have them. Uh, it, we, they were loose and I just assumed take them off and not let them go crazy. Um, this one is an Eli Terrian Sons. This one is a Eli, Samuel uh, Terry. And this one is a Seth Thomas. Uh, the place is a mess. Again, my pub clock back here. I think you can get a little better picture of it now. It's a nice one. Um, but it uh, weighs a ton. All right. So, look. It's a mess. Anyway, so um, we have a Woodworks OG. These are all woodworks right here. Uh, all tradition, you know, the transition, sorry, transitions. Um, mirror fronts and uh, painted front, probably a new glass there. Um, but all original hands. I mean, the hands are beautiful on these clocks, just beautiful. And the dials are original. Um, and then, of course, I showed you in the earlier video that we have... Uh, these uh, uh, woodworks clocks, um, and then I showed you the watches over there. These are all the books. This is actually a really good book. I'll be, uh, I've never read this book, but I'm learning so much from it, so I'm going to be taking that home uh, to read it at home. Um, oh, and here's our miniature. Um, miniature steeple clocks uh, we have a little cottage clock here a couple uh the figure eight mantles i think that's what these call them uh most of these are not they're not i wish there was a wagon wheel in there but there isn't um but they're all like most of them are ian welsh they're early ones uh not just not early enough i mean i re really wish that they were a little bit earlier and then they have the larger ones um, again, um, I can't see it off, right off the bat. Maybe it won't come out in the video. Eh, let's look, let's take a peek. Um, I still can't see it. Uh, let me see the, hard to read. Um, this is Ian Walsh, yeah. This is Ian Welsh. Um, I'll be driving you guys crazy because uh, you could read it before I could say it. Anyway, um, <clears throat> but yeah, so we got all these. And uh, so we're going to have a little fun. Um, a nice little baby steeple back here, too. They're all taken away like crazy. So, uh, and he was. Uh, He's pretty um, much having everything running, so that's what he liked. And uh, so, uh, again, we have these in here. Um, and the only one I have a problem with here is it has its uh, verge, but it doesn't have the, the verge hook. So, oh well. Uh, they're not that hard to make. Anyway. So that's it's Saturday. It's late. 
Uh, that, oh yeah, I can tell you, show you these. This is a really, actually, really nice pillar and splat um, parts. Wish I had the rest of the case for it, but he didn't have any other cases. This one uh, OG miniature here on the right uh, was one I sold to him a few years ago. We'll recap here some of the other things that we got. Just as a reminder, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, hit the bell so you're alerted anytime we put a new video up. Anyway, I'd like to say thank you for stopping by. Um, we'll be having a recap of the week's activities. Uh, it usually comes out on Friday or Saturday. And uh, thank you for stopping by, and we'll see you next time.